A Staffordshire police inspector has been jailed for 12 months after lying about attending London Gay Pride, when in fact he didn't go, but did claim expenses for the trip to the tune of £838.28. pence. Inspector, or rather now former inspector, Darren Oakey, pretended that he had been at the event as a Staffordshire police representative when he had actually been having a meal in Stafford with his estranged husband. Stoke-on-Trent Crown Court heard the 52-year-old then submitted false expenses and, after questions were raised about the claim, four photographs he said he had taken at the 2016 event, but his deception was uncovered when he resigned from the police force in 2018. Prosecutor Jim Dunstan told the court in 2016 there were concerns about his expenses claims at his attendance at London Pride. He was requested to attend in a professional capacity. He didn't go, but on July the 1st, he submitted an expense claim for two return trips and two days pay. The total claim came to £838.28 and Oki went to great lengths to hide his failure to attend. The investigation included obtaining a copy of the registration at the event, which he hadn't signed, a polo shirt, which he hadn't collected, and interviewing other officers who said they hadn't seen him. Mr Dunson continued. He was spoken to on April 19th, 2017. He forwarded four photos to try and convince officers that he had been at the event. He said he had taken them himself. However, they were found to have been images that had been posted on social media by other people. Metadata proved that that was the case. Mr. Oki edited the metadata to back up what he was saying to suggest that the images had been taken to him but it said he spelled it all using lowercase letters, which gave the game away. An expert saw that the images were out of sequence. He said he had driven to the outskirts of London, then used a prepaid Oyster card to go to the event. He said he had disposed of the card afterwards. Police spoke to the estranged husband of the defendant, and he confirmed that the defendant was aware of the event, but had decided not to go. And this is why exes should stay that way. I mean, imagine paying for a meal for your ex-partner only for them to go grass you up. <laughs> it's funny how even their spouses or ex-spouses hate police. Provided two fuel receipts that had no bearing to the London trip. They were designed to mislead others. He has used the police system for non-policing purposes. He had taken checks on himself and his address, a friend and an ex-partner. He was suspended on full pay and resigned from the police. He repaid the full amount in August 2020, by which I believe that that means he repaid the expenses and not the full pay that he received while he was suspended. Oki of Sayers Road, Stafford, pleaded guilty to one count of fraud by false representation, perverting the course of, pub of justice and obtaining personal data. Talbir Singh, mitigating, asked for any custodial sentence to be suspended. He said this was offending which was ultimately an exercise in futility. He didn't need the money. The progress he made in a highly successful police career ended. There was no greed attached. There was no gain from the data breach. Perverting the course of justice was offending which was not very skilled and with his police hat on its plane for him to see now that it was offending that was always going to be revealed. Mr. Singh attributed the offending to issues in Mr. Oakley's personal life, saying, being unable to sustain a tranquil personal life has led him to offending in this manner and suffering from the health issues that your honor has read about. Oh yes, former Inspector Oakey had a tough life. Bring out the violins. In fact, I think it's time for the converted world's smallest violin. In fact, his defence even tried to use the sexuality card, suggesting that the fact that he had been so public about his sexuality, it would give cause for concern. Whatever the fuck that means anyway. However, thankfully, the judge took the correct action and sent Oki to jail for two counts of fraud by false representation and one count of perverting the course of justice. Just meet a new husband. Although there is no mention of him being added to the barred list, I would like to think that's to come in a misconduct hearing that now can be taken place 
since he's been sentenced. Big thank you to channel supporters, especially these guys. Your support is truly appreciated. Don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe. Let me know your thoughts as I know many of you will. And until next time, stay safe, look after each other, film the police and other officials.